if you've been through LaGrange, someone's probably told you, hey, there is a meat market right here in town. You need to stop and get some food at Prowsey Meat Market. It's been in the family since 114 years. Jeez, but times are changing, and so might the ownership of the market. Chris Davis is live from Fayette County this morning with the story there. Good morning, Chris. Yeah, good morning, John and Sally. The Prousies are up early this morning, getting everything ready for their meat counter. And they're using this same butcher block that generations of Prousies have been using for 65 years. Take a look, they've had to keep stacking wood on top of it to keep it coming up because this butcher block used to be twice this thick. These pegs represent the middle point of where it used to be. Over time, this has worn down as generations of Prousies have come through here, but with no fifth generation ready to take over, the market itself could be running out of time. I would hate to see it go. There was a time this storefront was brand new. You just a little worried that somebody might just change it and, and it might not be a meat market anymore. How are you doing today? There was a time they cut every steak by hand. It's sad, you know, it's just a sign of the times though. But time doesn't change everything. I was about 10 years old when my dad first brought me here. It's just like eating with family. <laughs> Gary Prousey is one of four Prousies working here now. Uh, me, Kathy, Brian, uh, Mark's in the back on the pit. I think I started here when I was 14. They're the fourth generation, over 114 years. All right. I have a big order today. They could be the last. I asked them, I'm like, no. With no fifth generation interested in taking over, Prousey's is for sale. My father passed away about six, seven years ago, and uh, having that sign in the window is like losing him all over again. But time's not up yet. The Prousies hope someone buys it and keeps them on, doing the same thing they've done across several lifetimes. You're welcome. Thank you. In the meantime, have a good day. The Prousies will keep doing what Prousies do. Bye. You know, time marches on, so we'll see where time takes us. Now, over the years, 23 Prousies have worked here. And if you want to stop by, sample some barbecue, maybe get yourself some meat, they are open Tuesday through Saturday. We'll send it back to you. Chris, thank you very much. The market was also given the Texas Historical Commission's Texas Treasure Business Award, which is available to for-profit companies in continuous operation for at least 50 years. It's really cool. 408 businesses have gotten that award since it was established in 05. 14 are in LaGrange. Austin has seven, including the Broken Spoke and Matt's El Rancho. The oldest business in the state is Gibbs Brothers and Company. That's over in Huntsville. Started back in 1841. They deal primarily with real estate and property management these days, but it started out just as a general store when it was founded 177 years ago. It's a good reason to go out to LaGrange and get sure. some barbecue, some meat, get ready for the weekend. It's never too early to think about the weekend on <laughs> Tuesday. Right. It's what, Tuesday? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not, though?